here's one of these uh, inevitable track changes that come up from time to time and you realise that you should have put it in to start with but you didn't because you didn't think of what was going on so the problem is that we can't get from this main line uh, around to the station uh, and then back again so this main line was only for freight but I want to run passenger trains on that so I've got to be able to cross over from this main line to this main line which these throws into the station so needless to say we're going to have to put a few points in maybe a long one there and, a, and a re another curve one, a left hand curve over here so we can join it all together I can get out the other end alright but um, I forgot about getting in this end to the station so that's what we've got to do I'm going to clean all this muck out of here I've got a bit of the rail up and um, put a couple new uh, turnouts so it goes in there and doesn't have access to these platforms or either of them on either side and goes out the other side so once we can cross over to this line here we can run in there where that little fella is and line up on the station and go out the other end out, um, we were out that way somewhere and cross over or we can go all the way round the corner and cross over at uh, where the maintenance depot is because there's a couple crossovers over there as you can see Clean all this little ballast out. Now, all you woodworkers, please don't freak out that I'm using a chisel because this is just an old one that hasn't been restored. It's out of a box of stuff we got at a clearance sale. So, I can't do any damage to it again. I think my son would freak out if I was using it for this after he restored it. But for the top of the I'll do that fine for getting this stuff up. probably see, I've been doing a bit of work, got curve point in there, curve point in there, medium straight in there and cut all the little bits to go in between, so we're, we're making progress. A lot of fiddling cutting these little short pieces here to get it all the mesh in but we'll get there. So the next thing is to um, lift some of this track uh, a little bit so we can reconfigure the curves going into the yards so that it all ties in. So that's the next part of the job. How to make a mess in one easy lesson. Right. So progressing along uh, as you can see I've got uh, now this double turnout section in here which allows uh, trains from this main to cross over into there and go up around there and uh, get into the platform. So we've got our little test loco here to try it out. I'll just run that through where it would normally go. The inside main there, that's alright. Out again. I'll swap that point over and that one's already set. We'll switch the other track. can head round in there and pull up at the platform there. We're just imagining it and that's a small local passenger train for the sake of the argument and uh, once it's finished there it can carry on in that same direction and come back out onto the other line round in the uh, switch tracks over near the maintenance depot. So, 
bring them back in here again. Out of the way. We could even cross over to the other main line, of course, from there and go out with a train in that other direction. Down here, as you'll see, there's a bit of a gap. Once you start doing track changes, of course, every one thing always leads to another. And so I've got to do a bit of track realigning to join up with uh, this spot here and uh, into the throat of the yard. This little turn out here may have to go yet and uh, do a little bit more jiggling around, but we'll get there. Right, here's our new track plan entering the uh, throat of the yard and uh, as you can see I've got the extra points in here so that we can go from this main and cross over into there so we can go around the corner and local passengers can pull up into the platform and I've also rejigged the throat into the freight yard and I actually used a couple of bits of set track just there, just in here and here, to get the right curvature and it uh, all seemed to line up quite well then. There comes our local freight on a switching job with some boxcars ready to enter the new yard. Well, the new yard throat anyway, the new yard throat. Okay, now you can imagine for a minute that this is the local passenger service. And she crosses over from this main to the other. And runs round with a bit of luck. Into that platform. So there you go. 